quick commercial here about one of the new fibers that's on the market today. That fiber is Monsanto's gold label stain blocker nylon. And this commercial will show you uh, just a quick 30 seconds at how it's supposed to be such a wonderful carpet. And then we're going to go ahead and show you, you know, kind of like David Horowitz and show you exactly what happens when we sport, spill grape juice on that carpet and see what happens to it. Meanwhile, you might take a, a notice that there's a lot of carpet around me. Again, I want to emphasize, we have one of the largest selections of carpet that you're going to find on the west side of Portland. All right, let's take a minute and we'll view this commercial. Spud and I used to get in a lot of trouble around here. We helped serve at parties, worked on my bike, and Spud had a lot of accidents. But since my folks bought Wear Day to Go Label Carpet, everything has been great. Because kids spot our drinks, oil and grease, even Spot can't spot this carpet. It's made with Monsanto's certified locked-in stain blocker. And it sure kept us out of doghouse. Wear dated gold label carpet with locked-in stain blocker. It's tough and beautiful. A moment ago, we saw the commercial showing the new Monsanto gold label nylon with locked-in stain blocker. That's represented by this carpet right here. Here is another carpet of the same density and weight and fiber, except it is the type of nylon that you could have bought six months ago that isn't stain blocker. And I have here some sparkling grape juice, which is probably the worst thing you can put on your carpet. And we're gonna pour some of that on here and just see what happens, okay? Now we're not gonna pour just a little bit. We're gonna work it in good. Look at that mess I'm making here. I'll just scrape that up, you know? Okay, look at this. Okay, and I'll pour some on here. And we're gonna work it in. I mean, you know, we don't want it just to, this is a spill, not something you pour on the carpet. This is something that was, pour, you know, came off the table. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna let that soak in a, a little bit. I mean, if you ran right to the kitchen right now and got your paper towels and your water and so on, you could probably clean up both spills. But that isn't the way life really is. What happens is one of the kids spills something like this and doesn't tell you about it. And you find out about it, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes later, a day later, two days later. So we're gonna let that soak in for a couple minutes and uh, see what happens. Here at Carpet Classics, we don't want you to make that carpet by mistake. We also have some of the newest fibers available. You've seen the commercial just a minute ago about the new fiber from Monsanto. We also have DuPont Stain Master, which is on the TV a lot. But no matter what carpet you buy, there are no miracle fibers. And it's more important that you buy a carpet that is well constructed rather than soft and gushy, okay? Now once you've made that selection with confidence and with knowledge of how carpet works, it's very, very important to make sure that that carpet is installed in a professional manner. You do not want this guy here coming to your house to install that carpet that you've just paid your hard-earned money for. I mean, how frightening would this be to have this individual come to your house to install that $25 yard carpet and make it look like a $5 yard carpet when he's done? Those of you in our cable television viewing audience have a chance to take advantage of a special sale just for the people that are watching this show. This carpet here, which is made by Holitex, they're most dense, they're tightest twisted, and it's a textured plush. This is a type of plush that helps hide some of the footprints, some of the vacuum cleaner marks that a lot of us out there don't like in our carpet yet it will perform very, very well because it is extremely dense, extremely tight. And this will be at a special savings even better than what we would normally sell it to those of you that would just come in the door. If you mention the word Kerbo, which is the name of that installer I showed you earlier on, you will receive a special discount on this carpet. So remember that, Kerbo the installer. Carpet Classics special just for those of you on cable. All right, let's go back now and take a look at how our carpets that we spilled grape juice on are doing. 
All right, we're back here to see how these two carpets fared from the grape juice spill. And remember, in this hand here, we have the fourth generation nylon, the nylon that is treated with a fluorocarbon, but that's all. And here is the new stain blocker nylon. And they're both, as you can see, pretty well stained. We've got some plain water in this bucket, and I'm, I don't know what's gonna happen here. We're just gonna take part of this and see if we can get rid of part of this stain. I'm just gonna, now you can't do this totally at home, but we're just gonna rinse it out here real quick. Okay, I'm gonna take some paper towels, and we're blotting, because that's all you can do. Okay. Now that portion that I blotted right here, the stain has come out to a degree. Okay, but it's still there. Okay, now let's try the new stain blocker nylon. I'll do the same thing. Okay, and again, here we'll blot. Now remember, this represents the, uh, a major spill, not just a, a little spill, but a whole glass of whatever it is. I need some more paper towels here of whatever it is coming out of the carpet. Okay. They cleaned up, this cleaned up a little better than this one did. But remember, we only clean the bottom part of it here. Now I'm gonna try something with the stain blocker nylon. I'm gonna flush this with water. And you see, now, all we're gonna have left here is wetness. Anytime you're cleaning any kind of a stain, you want to keep going until the towel gets completely clear. And that towel is clear. And it shows you that even in the newest of fibers, you're going to get a little staining with something as strong as grape juice. Kool-Aid will come out, but grape juice is a really a tough one for staining. Let's throw some water on this other one. Didn't do as much. Okay. Both carpets are stained to a degree. With a little more work, I'm sure we'll get a little more out of this. But there are no miracle fibers, okay? If you get a light-colored carpet, it is very important that you take good care of it. There, there is no way that you can get a, a light-colored carpet and expect it to be self-maintaining. So remember,